Let's go. You see them making up a star, they hear my name and remember me. Just let the record show that I said I'm coming for everything. You see them making up a star, they hear my name and remember me. Said I'm coming for everything. You good, but to be great, you gotta have confidence. The next level was legend. You gotta have accomplishments. In any league, they considering me dominant. The ball falls, you know the pit of the feet, bottomless. I was hungry way before I got your support. I hopped off the porch around the time that y'all got awards. Lyrical exercise, this is what I call a sport. The fourth bar, brother, when I push the rock off the court. I got champion genetics. Champion genetics. Next, next, next level. Remember me. I am the player. You seen them making up a star, they hear my name and remember me. Remember me. I am the player. Just let the record show that I said I'm coming for everything. I am the player. You seen them making up a star, they hear my name and remember me. Remember me. I am the player. Just let the record show that I said I'm coming for everything. The cat and mouse who talent don't average out. If your flow ain't nowhere near this caliber, that don't count. Competition get flattened out. Getting money like I went top three in the first round. My salary that amount. They want my style, but that ain't much to be flat about. I take it as a challenge when rappers calling my status out. One of the best, and they ain't my pedigree. You can have the rings or we did the AI's legacy. I got champion genetics. Remember me. I am the player. You seen them making up a star, they hear my name and remember me. I swear, I am the player. Just let the record show that I said I'm coming for everything. I am the player. You seen them making up a star, they hear my name and remember me. Remember me. I swear, I am the player. Just let the record show that I said I'm coming for everything. I am the player. Next, next, next level. For me, who could be against me? I guess all of that's against me. They the ones stirring up the conflict. They try to make it out like I'm conflicted. East Coast, the six fours hitting switch. It's not a conflict of interest. Cut it with the business. West Coast rocking them Timberlands. Deep up in them trenches. It's no difference. Neither one play games when swinging for them fences. We want the finer things. The, that's expensive. They, they hit them either close range or at a distance. If God for me, why bother? I got my game from the Godfather. Top of the food chain, rock bottom. And handle my business when it was my problem. Jeep. Crossing with a gold chain. I got my Turkish rope with matching gold things. Bomber jacket in the winter, it's a cold game. I met some East Coast up in Spokane. Some of the realest in this dope game. I got my curly top looking like special ed. Clean fade on the side, bumping that red head. Clean tags when I ride, ducking the fed feds. East Coast, they get that bread bread. You you put the put the you end up dead dead. The West Coast, they leave that spring. And now you got Calling your great hate. If God for me, who could be against me? I guess all of that's against me. They the ones stirring up the conflict. They try to make it out like I'm conflicted. Still trying to f the riches. East Coast, the six fours hitting switch. It's not a conflict of interest. Cut it with the business. West Coast rocking them Timberlands. Deep up in them trenches. It's no difference. Fourth and inches. I'm finna hit a lick and handle business. I got a down. She real vicious. Rock a bye, baby. No witness. This is not even a conflict. You no nonsense. Die the same way in Brooklyn and Compton. But with that gang gang, they make a profit. On top. Stay popping. Look. See, I was the high school slick, Rick, I was styling. Fat gold chain with an African medallion. Hip hop connoisseur and rolling 20 gripping. Rap game real tight, freestyle was magnificent. All about the clout and all about my dividends. 
them older couldn't tell me different. I need a roundaway girl to let me get the Showtime at the Apollo. I'm, I'm about the bottom. Take two and pull out a little for my who won't live to see them all. We are sandwiched between Fort Worth and Dallas, Texas in Arlington at the luxurious AT&T Stadium. Today, it's week three, and we've got a good one in store between the Buffalo Bills and the Dallas Cowboys. It's the first weekend of autumn, and the NFL is in full swing as off we go on EA Sports. And they're going to mark the... coverage of the NFL brings us to the Lone Star State and the very mammoth AT&T Stadium in Arlington, Texas. Today it's week three and we've got a good one in store between the Buffalo Bills and the Dallas Cowboys. 
It's the first weekend of autumn, and the NFL is in full swing as off we go on EA Sports. And here comes a return from just beyond the goal line. And ultimately cannot get this out to the 25-yard line as he's dropped at the 23. Fake the handoff. Now Allen. That's caught by his tight end, Dawson Knox. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. The catch and run pays off for 29 yards. When you get a big tight end like this, sometimes it takes more than one man to bring him down. Oftentimes, your best bet, just jump on and hold on and wait for your teammates to arrive to help get him on the ground. So from Cowboy territory now, here's first and 10 at the 48-yard line. First carry for Damian Harris, the Alabama man. And he can only manage to get a couple. Second and eight coming up. Well, this defense for the Cowboys, very strong last week as they helped their squad improve to 2-0 on the young season. Yeah, they held them to just seven points. And if you rewatch the game tape, and I did multiple times, it was amazing to me that the other guys even got seven. They were absolutely dominating on that side of the football. The last run good for two. Here's second and eight. Allen going to throw. That's caught by Gabriel Davis. And they're able to work this to the 25 before it's all said and done. That good for 21 yards on the catch and run. Well, I think when they look at their offense, they think to themselves, weapons, weapons everywhere. And they want to move the ball around. They want to spread it to different people. But you absolutely know they want to get this man involved as well. And that's what they just did on that play. Here's Allen on first and 10. And a quick throw here. That's complete. And they're going to get this down inside the 15. It's a nice completion, a little bit of run after catch as well to create the yardage that they got. But it is so tough to cover that route, the drag route, because they run it at varying speeds because the key is to create hesitancy on the defender's part. Always so empathetic for those DBs, aren't you? Here's a first and 10 at the 14-yard line. the red zone now. They'll look to throw. Fires the out route and completes it to Harris. And he is into the end zone for a Buffalo touchdown. Damian Harris, his third touchdown now on the year. And the Bills get the upper hand as they're on the board first here this afternoon. Well, these guys scored touchdown after touchdown in that win a week ago. So how do they come out this week? Same way. They've got that momentum going, a touchdown on the opening drive. I think it's safe to say that they're in a groove, isn't it? I mean, a lot of times we've seen where teams have scored a ton of points the week before. The very next week, struggle to score almost as if they used it all up. Not in this case. This group appears locked in. And we're going to have to make some adjustments if you're on the other side of that football. After the touchdown, Bass to kick it away. Fielded right around the eight. And he'll be out of bounds across the 25. So Prescott and the Cowboys now with a first and 10 at their own 27. So the drive's going to start with Pollard. And he'll get this up just shy of the 30. The last run got a couple. Here's second and eight. Prescott now. Got his man complete over the middle. That's Brown. And he'll be tackled right on the chalk of the 45. On 
First and ten, Prescott. He's going to fire one deep, middle of the field. And that is caught. Touchdown, Cowboys. The Dak Prescott, probably not the first name you think of in terms of strongest arms in the NFL, but he showed it off there. And we knew that this offense was going to try to put pressure on the secondary. That was something they talked about with us. They knew that they had an advantage, pressed it, and there you go. Big play for a touchdown on their very first possession. And that throw, wow, 72 yards in the air, according to Next Gen stats. Well, they got down 7 zip. They said, we'll go for two, run up you, and they take the lead. How about that for a little risk reward, right? If you don't get it, you're only down a point. Let's go ahead and make a statement in this ball game, and that's exactly what they did. Pulls it in at the 13. The Bills take over at first down. The Bills come to the line to start their next drive. And as the offense begins another drive here, pretty simple, Charles. They want to carbon copy what happened the last time out when they ended their drive in the end zone. You're right about that, partner. Sounds pretty simple, doesn't it? Just score again, but we know it's not that simple because we don't just make adjustments at halftime if you're a good football team. You spend that time on the sideline, you study what's on the notes and the tablets, and you make those adjustments to prevent a repeat of the last drive. Series to series, the best teams, that's how they get it done. And we'll find out here soon enough whether those adjustments are enough defensively. They try to throw on second down, but this one is incomplete. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. So the shotgun snap to Allen. And that will be incomplete. Partner, we've got ourselves a ball game, and those guys on defense, they came to play. Slipped up on their first series, but they're definitely settling in now and letting it be known the points won't come so easy again. Wisnowski on to punt as he sends this one away. And just a 30-yard punt that time. And the Cowboys will take over the football with a first and 10. set for this next drive by the Cowboys offense. The offense coming back out here. Plenty of energy ready to roll. Looking to just add to what they have been doing after scoring a touchdown, Charles, their last time out. And that's a great feeling to have on the sideline, partner. Knowing you just won the battle against the opposing defense. And since they came off the field, I'll guarantee you all they want to do is get back out there because they know they have the upper hand on that defense right now. Well, they've got man coverage on the outside, and my scouting report on these DBs tells me that they love to take matters in their own hands. They want man coverage, not zone, and there was good coverage there that forced the incompletion. After the incomplete pass, here now is second and ten. Looking to throw, Prescott. Dancing to his left. Throwing for his running back, and he's got him complete. And he's taken down right at the 45-yard line. That one, a gain of 20 and a first down. I like the play design there. They occupied the defense down the field. They tried to account for someone. But unfortunately, they didn't account for the running back slipping out of the backfield. And he was absolutely unnoticed and wound up getting big yards on that play. On play action, Prescott. He lets this one fly toward the back of the end zone. Yeah, this one almost intercepted. Had a chance to come down with it in the end zone, but could not hang on. The Cowboys at 2-0 here to begin the season. And they come in feeling pretty good after back-to-back -back victories, CD. And I thought that they played pretty well last week. Their execution, their discipline, their resilience, all on display in that victory. 
So they'll come up after the incompletion for second down. They run straight ahead here with Pollard. And he'll be close to a first down as the tackle made at the Bills 36. They'll come to the line needing only two yards to gain the first here. Prescott on third and two. And this is caught. It's Brown. And he's got a first down as the tackle made at the Bills 20-yard line. Defense was expecting run and their delta pass of over 15 yards. Oh, that was a pretty route right there because it's all about finding a window on a route like that. He lined up on his left, ran the deep in route over the middle, and the ball was right where it needed to be. Really good trust between quarterback and receiver. Really good completion. From the red zone now, Prescott. And this ball is caught by Lamb. Touchdown, Dallas. A 20-yard touchdown. And they are able to add on to their advantage. They went five wide in that offensive set. And Grayson going three wide is a big deal. To go five, how about the way that they finish things off? <laughs> Did you just fit a race car reference into the game? Zoom, zoom. How about the way that you play? When you go five wide, that means you're going fast now. Zoom, zoom indeed. The kick team out there for the Cowboys as they run up to send this one away. From a yard or two deep, here comes a return. And he'll be dropped at the 21-yard line, so bringing it out of the end zone proves not a good decision. Loses him about four yards. The Bills come to the line to start their next drive. And Charles, a very uninspired effort the last time we saw them out there was a quick three and out when they punted the football. Yeah, and you never want to get stopped so soundly during a series, but what would be even worse now is letting it happen again right here. They've got to get going. That's going to wind up a loss of a full three yards on first down. A three-yard loss to start the drive. They'll look to make that up and then some on second and 13. They take a shot downfield there, but it winds up falling incomplete. Brandon, watching their tape from last week, I saw plenty of plays like we just saw there, forcing incompletions. It was key in their win last week. They're hoping the same thing happens this time out, too. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. And he's going to be brought down. Back at his own six-yard line. Micah Parsons showing off that elite athleticism as he gets the sack. And the Bills send the punter out as the drive goes backwards, so he's on to punt it away. Yeah, this is going to be touchdown, but what a gift here. That's going to set the return team up in the red zone already. First and 10 at the 11. To throw is Prescott. And it's intercepted at the goal line. Picked off by Jordan Poyer. And the Bills force the turnover. They'll take over at their own 27. Charles, not only is that an interception, it's one when you were really knocking on the door for a touchdown inside the red zone. You're actually thinking points. No matter what, at worst, you're thinking kicking a field goal and getting three. We might look back on this in the second half and say, you remember when they didn't get points on that drive? This could cost them. The Bills come to the line to start their next drive. So after the INT, it's Allen. And that is caught. It's Davis. And they're going to have this across midfield and inside the 45. That one goes for 30 yards. You think defenses might be a little more prepared for plays like this because so many offensive coordinators, when they get the ball after a turnover, they do like to dial up a deep ball right away. And if I were a defensive coordinator in this league, that's exactly what I would say to my defense before they went out to play. In this case, though, they didn't get the message, and a big play resulted.
Throwing on first down is Allen. That swung out wide to Harris. And he'll be brought down just shy of the 40. Well, offensively, that's the mismatch that you want. You want to force a linebacker to try and cover your back out of the backfield, out in some open space. But linebackers nowadays, they run like backs, and they take a lot of pride in covering. What a nice play he made there in the open field. Second down and eight. To throw, it's Allen. Out to the left, he's got his tight end, Knox. And he's going to be down at the 35, gain of seven. That's a staple of this offense, drag route to the tight end. Yeah, he's unable to use his size to break off much more yardage after the catch, but still an effective gain nonetheless. Now on third and two, they're going to elect to throw with Allen. And he completes it to the tight end, Knox. And he's going to have another first down here as the tackle's made at the Cowboys' 13-yard line. Well, they were in search of a short gain on third down, and they wind up nabbing over 20 yards. From the 13 now, they work on first and 10. They run with Hines. And they'll get to him just inside the 15, even after that strong run we witnessed. The run only got a yard. Here's second and nine. From the gun, it's Allen. And his throw is going to be incomplete. Looked like he had a couple of different options as far as who to throw to on that play. And who am I to say this, but I'm not sure he made the right decision. Well, the window of opportunity is always going to be small in the NFL. That's why those quarterbacks who make quick decisions and have quick releases have the most success in this league. Now the Cowboys are going to burn the first of their timeouts. They'll have two remaining as we step aside here in this second quarter. Allen on third. He will find Diggs in the end zone. Touchdown, Buffalo. Stephon Diggs from 13 yards out. And the Bills are an extra point away from evening this one up. Extra point by Bass. Up and good. And we are tied at 14. This one tied at 14 now as he sends this one away. And a short kick taken at about the 16. And he'll get to the 30-yard line before going out of bounds. The Dallas offense here set to begin the drive. And for this offense, Charles, you got to think kind of crucial here to put something together on this drive because remember last time out, they threw the interception on the very first play. And you can't afford to let this defense keep building any more momentum. They're playing awfully well, and they're awfully confident right now. To me, it's time to attack and take some of that momentum back. But make sure you're selective in doing so. Understand where you want to throw the football and make sure it's open before the ball leaves your hands. Three yards on that last carry. Here's second and seven. Prescott. And he takes a shot on the release as this will be incomplete. I think he had to unload that one before he wanted to. He was right up in his grill. I think he was a dentist there without a license, don't you? <laughs> Just not enough time for the play to develop. Just lucky it wasn't a fumble, really. On third down, it's Prescott. Forced out to his left. He's got a man complete. And they'll get this well past midfield before being stopped just before the 35. That goes for a gain of 31. So how about that for a chain mover? They're all the way down inside the 40 now for first and 10. Now a shotgun handoff to Pollard. 
No, oh, a nifty juke there. Not much fun for a guy trying to tackle it. And they'll wind up getting this one all the way down inside the 20. From the red zone now, they'll look to throw. He's going to flip one out here to his running back. And he's down inside the five at the four before he's out of bounds. Back-to-back -back nice plays, 12 yards that time and a first down. That's a big league job there of getting out of the pocket, not panicking, and just buying himself some time. Then he made a good, accurate throw to set up first and goal. Run of the jet sweep as Prescott bats it forward. And he'll get him a bit closer as he's down to the two-yard line. A nice play design there with the touch pass. Looked good at the start, but bottom line, the defense was ready. And they did a nice job scouting, didn't they? Not just scouting, but now executing once they saw the play for real after having worked on it all week in practice. They drilled on the play, then they drilled him. They get only a yard there. Now it's third and goal. As a defense, you're more balanced when you're in zone coverage because you're able to keep your eyes on the quarterback and see the play develop in front of you. They're able to keep the quick pass in front of them and stop it right at the line of scrimmage. This Buffalo defense has stood their ground. This is third and goal. To the goal line, but it's incomplete. So they opted to pass for it on third and goal. Let's see what they do on fourth and goal. Well, I think they threw it with the idea that if they didn't get it, they would go for it on fourth and goal. So they got another play in their pocket. They're going to have to call it right now. No field goal here. came through with the goal line. Stan got him the ball back. Let's see what they can do about putting a drive together. Long way to go. They need to reward that defense. A goal line stand, they've got to make that stand up themselves, right? Give the defense a chance to catch their breath on the sideline. At least get two first downs. Three would be better. Change field position. Let them catch their breath. Second quarter, two minutes to go. Tie ball game. Second and five. On play action, Allen. That's complete to Hines out of the backfield. And he'll be brought down, it looks like, right at the 15. That one, a first down pickup of eight. Well, that was a pretty favorable situation there. What would you call that, second and manageable? Smart play, too. Didn't force it downfield when he didn't have it. Just checked it down. Let him get the first down, and that's exactly what he did. First down, and they're going to throw with Allen. Eluding the pressure right. Now he's going to throw deep right side. And this one nearly picked off. Kind of surprising to see defender of his caliber let it get away, but get away it does, and it's second down. He's put up numbers in this one by pushing the envelope a bit whenever he could with deeper throws. But let's play a little philosophy here. Some plays it works, sometimes they're ready for you. And that time, they were on guard. Incomplete. To throw on second and ten. Allen. He's got the hook up with Diggs. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets his football out shy of the 30 to the 29. A 
Again, they'll throw with Allen. They will find Davis. That's complete. Now the Bills will use the second of their timeouts as the clock stops here with 46 seconds remaining in the first half. to throw again on second down. Allen looking for Diggs and it's intercepted. And the Cowboys are going to take possession of the football. Well, he's certainly not been afraid to take some chances downfield. Now look, it's paid off for him a couple of times. That time, not so fortunate. And that's why I want to start what you said. It's paid off a couple of times. So his aggressiveness has been good for his offense for the most part. So he throws an interception there. No one likes that but I would not rein him back in. The return on investment thus far has been pretty good. Two touchdowns to one interception. Following the interception, here's Prescott. He's going to rifle one deep left side. And this is going to be intercepted. Jair Elam makes a pick, and the Bills are going to take possession here. It's a touchback, and they'll take over at the 20-yard line. So they try to take the deep shot there, but this defense up to the task. And a lot of times when you air a ball out like this, if it does get intercepted, there's going to be a lot of space out there to set up a return. And remember, you've got five big offensive linemen out there playing on their feet in open space. Not a skill most of them possess that allows for extra yardage on the return. The Bills come to the line to start their next drive as they will take over here with a little more than 30 seconds remaining. He's going to wind up and air it out. He's got a man complete. The Bills are going to go ahead and use their final timeout as they'll stop the clock with 26 seconds to go until halftime. So that changes things in a big way. Now from all the way down inside the 30, here's first and 10. So they fake the handoff. Now Allen, he's going to let it go deep for the end zone. And this ball incomplete. Uh, looked very much to be a catchable ball and could not hang on. Second down coming up. They're going for a receiver there. Already has one touchdown of this first half. A second one not to be. I like where their headspace is, though. I mean, I really like the thought process, right? You got a guy who's already scored one, right? You want to go back to him, continue the hot hand, and make them adjust to you defensively. I like what they were trying to get done, even though they weren't successful. On second and ten, Allen. Looking downfield, and that's caught right side. He's got his man. So we've hit halftime all even at 14 apiece. As we send you on over to Orlando for Jonathan Coachman in our EA Sports halftime report. Take it away, Coach. Welcome back. Charles and I settled into the booth ready for quarter number three. And ready to get the party started for the second half. It was an even first half, all tied on the scoreboard. Takes it at the seven. Now a hit and a loose football. Now this is picked up by the Bills. As that ball got away from him and he saw the opposing team recover it. You felt his pain? Oh, I felt his pain and you know what was going through his head. Tuck it away. Mm. Take care of the ball. All the things he hears all week in practice, he didn't carry it over into the game. Now a first down carry for Harris. And he'll wind up losing yardage here back at the 21-yard line. 
Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. Have to give credit for a nice play there, but also have to look at it as a blown assignment. He became a free runner that turned into a free hitter. On second and 11 now. Allen, this is caught. Touchdown, Bills. Dawson Knox from 21 yards away. And the Bills have broken the tie. Extra point by Bass, up and good. And the lead is now 21-14. After the touchdown, Bass to kick it away. Fielded right around the eight. And he'll be out of bounds here, a yard shy of the 25 at the 24. About set for this next drive by the Cowboys offense. Now this offense trying to change the script here a little bit, CD. Trailing on the scoreboard in the last time out on the very first play of the drive, they threw that interception. And you definitely saw his coaches, teammates come over to him on the sideline, trying to help him shake it off because in this game, his team is down right now. So it's important to make sure you get some confidence back for both the quarterback and the entire offense. Otherwise, those mistakes could continue to pile up. And he'll be brought down right around the 37. They'll get three as the drive continues. It's a first down. And Brandon, you know that expression, he just does what he does? <laughs> it sounds trite, doesn't it? But in this case, it's perfectly apt. This is one of the better runners in the NFL. And all he does is just find avenues, find ways to pick up key first downs and big runs. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. We know it's not an easy job to go out and catch passes when people are trying to tackle you and knock the ball away. But the bottom line is, that's a pass he's got to have and a pass he should have caught. Line of scrimmage again the 37 as they line up second and 10. Prescott to throw it. Swinging this out for Pollard. And a five-yard gain gets him to the 42. They'll need five on this play to move the sticks. Prescott from the gun on third. Man open left side is Brown. And he's got a first down as a tackle made at the Bills 43. Give him 15 there, and the Cowboys have a first. That's a play that will likely be forgotten when you talk about big moments in this game. But plays like this are critical to keep drives going. And if points result, we'll call this play significant. And again, it's Prescott. He's got his man. It's Gallup. And he's going to be taken down. But there's a penalty flag in the backfield. Is this a hold, or did they rough the quarterback? So a critical mistake, roughing the passer. Now it's first and goal. Prescott now. Escaping the pressure right. Out toward the sideline and completing it to Pollard. Touchdown! Tony Pollard, his first touchdown here of the new campaign. And the Cowboys are an extra point away from drawing level. Lutz with the extra point. And we are tied at 21. The teams locked into a good one here. 21 all the score as the kicks away. And here comes a return from a few steps into the end zone. The lane opens here. He's past the 30. 
And he's able to get this all the way to the 40 before going out of bounds. Well, someone wasn't very happy about that game being tied up. They came right back at them with a big-time return. They want to get back out in front as fast as possible. The Bills come to the line to start their next drive. We got a brand new ball game all even after that last touchdown, so every drive now becoming a little more critical here in the second half. A solid run on first down, gain of seven, leaves them with a second and three. Well, no matter how they phrase it, staying on schedule, staying ahead of the sticks, whatever you want to call it, seven yards on first down, that fits the bill. This is Hines. And he'll get it down to the 47 here. Six yards to pick up, and that's a first down. Most of their damage has been done through the air. I mean, they've rung the bell three times with passing touchdowns, but guess what? Ground game has not been neglected. Nice little burst right there. Allen now on first down. And it's intercepted. Picked off by Stephon Gilmore. And the Cowboys are going to take over once again at their own 25-yard line. Oh, and I saw the pressure coming at him. That just looked problematic. Hit him as he threw it, and the interception ensued. Let me pay homage to the man who stood in this spot before. He always talked about how much pressure is in the face of a guy, and can he step into a throw. And when you can't do that, oftentimes interceptions result. Look at right sideline. That's complete. And they're going to have this across midfield and inside the 45. That'll go as a pickup of 32 on the catch and run. We have seen big plays from both quarterbacks throughout this game, and there's another one right there. Going back and forth, almost like two excellent guitar soloists trying to top each other with each additional play. And he'll be out just a yard or two shy of the 30. That's over 40 yards of movement with those last two plays. He's a rookie, and you don't want to get hung up on the word potential. But when you see him make catches like that, you keep thinking to yourself, he's good now. He's got a chance to be great with plenty of work. They hand off to their big tight end. He'll be dropped at the 25 after a gain of six. Now flags fly in, and one of the Cowboys looked like he got going a little early. The false start hurts him there a bit, backs him up to second and nine. Here's Prescott. His throw caught at about the five. Touchdown, Cowboys! Dak Prescott now four touchdown passes on the afternoon. And the Cowboys have broken the tie. What's good on the extra point? They will take a seven-point lead. The kick team out there for the Cowboys as they run up to send this one away. They'll elect to bring it out here from the end zone. And this return will net positive as he gets past the 25 and up to the 27-yard line. So already not the best of kick returns there, but that penalty, that adds insult to injury and backs him up even closer to the goal line. Yeah, not ideal for position to begin a drive, is it? Because the extra pressure now goes on the offense. They've got to get some early yards and get away from the shadow of their own goal post. What every offense wants to do in this situation, get two first downs to help out with field position at the least. And he almost gets this to the 30, taken down about a yard shy. Here's Allen on first and ten. Quick hitter here, it's complete. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. 15 yards that time, and a Buffalo first. And with that last play, he's now up over that 300-yard mark. And in today's NFL, it almost feels routine. And I hate that when you talk about a 300-yard passing game. To me, 300 yards still signifies excellence, and he's achieved that in this performance. 
And a good burst there gets him seven up to midfield. He had a ton of success here so far, but you get the feeling that he might be on the verge of popping one. Yeah, even on that one, there was a little bit of a hole, but it closed there quickly at the end. So they'll come up after the gain of seven on a second and three. From midfield, here's Allen. He's going to sling this deep downfield. And this is caught for a Bills touchdown. All year from coaches and personnel directors in the NFL, how difficult it is for a rookie receiver to have an impact on the game. So much to learn, so much offense to absorb. Looks like he's picking it up pretty well. I would say so. And how about that for your first career NFL touchdown? And I don't know that he envisioned it quite that way, but if he was smart, he probably dreamed about it a little bit. So right back to square one, tied at 28 as he kicks it away. This one taken just inside the 10. And he's able to get it across the 20 to the 25-yard line. The Dallas offense here set to begin the drive. And their lead has evaporated in this third quarter. It's tied once more as they begin with a first and ten. And Prescott, his third interception. Picked off by Jordan Poyer. And his guys are going to take over at the 39-yard line. I think that interception happened for two reasons. Quarterback gets outside the pocket and panics a little bit. And receiver doesn't make sure he's absolutely in an open spot. So there's a guy lurking, took the ball from yeah, him. Yeah, so don't wave your arms, right, as a receiver if you're not wide open. Got to know that you're open. Otherwise, just don't do it. So after the INT, it's Allen. Looking for Knox on the crossing route. It's complete. And he's out of bounds, but not before a big pickup that time on what's going to wind up being the final play of the third quarter. It'll be first and goal when we come back. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. A field goal could get him the lead, but it might not be enough here as they come up on first and goal. Harris is in. Touchdown, Bills. Nice job of polishing off that drive, but all the credit there goes to that play prior. Yeah, it certainly does, because after that big play, I think resistance almost felt futile at that point, didn't it? And the very next play, they come right back, quick, fast, and in a hurry, and put it in the end zone. After the touchdown, Bass to kick it away. Fielded right around the eight. And he'll get to the 30-yard line before going out of bounds. The Cowboys make over first and 10 at their own 30-yard line. About set for this next drive by the Cowboys offense. They now trail by seven after that last touchdown here in the fourth quarter. What a big spot for this offense. See if they can cobble something together on this drive. On first and ten, Prescott. Buying time to his left. And he just gets rid of it. Throws it away. The lines move there. Looked like nobody open. Now second down. Well, any caused incompletion is good for a defense. But when you add to it that you get a little hit on the quarterback, knock him to the ground, make him think a little bit, hopefully knock him off his game, especially in a game of this magnitude, this tight in the fourth quarter, you got to feel pretty good as a defense. Ball on the 42 as they come up second and 10. 47. 47. 47. 47. 47. 47. 47. 47. 47. 47. 47. 47. 47. 47. 47. 47. 47. 47. 47. 47. 47. 47. 47. 47. 47. 47. 47. 47. 47. 47. 47. 47. 47. 47. 47
On play action, Prescott. That'll be taken in by Demir Bird. And they'll get him down on the other side of midfield. Tell you what, he's been able to put the ball in some tight spots all game long. That throw, no different. Yeah, a lot of people would call it a gutsy type of a throw. I think he looks at it as, I can do it, so it's not that big of a deal to me, and I'm going to keep firing. Kill, kill, kill. Kill, kill. On third and one, here's Prescott. Open man lamb, it's complete. And he will have a Cowboys first down by a couple of yards as they're able to convert there on third and one. The drive continues as they search for a tying touchdown. Here's first and ten. Now a give here to Pollard. The 71 yards rushing now on eight carries for him so far. So they'll come up first and ten now for the 33. Off the play fake, Prescott. Being chased out left. Ball delivered complete on the crossing route, Gallo. And they're going to get this down inside the 15. I like the design that we're seeing right there. This is what they need. Down by a touchdown here in the fourth. They just need to keep working their way downfield. And when they see openings, take their shots. There's a first and 10 at the 14 yard line. From the red zone now, Prescott. And he just throws this one away. Smart decision here, this close to the end zone, and it brings up second down. Well, that's good decision making right there. Understood down and distance. Knew it wasn't third down, and he still had another opportunity to earn the first down. Good job throwing it away and avoiding an interception. So after the incompletion on first, now second and ten. Out of the gun, here's Prescott. Over the middle, hauled in by Lamb. And he's brought down, but not before a really nice stiff arm to create a little space. Nine yards, and that leaves him just short, so it'll be third and less than a yard. Everyone has their strengths, able to move to their right or their left, being able to throw the football. So that means you've got to work on both because you never know which way you're going to get flushed by pressure. In this situation, able to escape to his left and makes an accurate throw. And he'll go backwards, losing yardage to the five. A loss of a yard, and it brings up fourth. Well, it's almost football 101 that you preach to your safeties. Don't let anyone get behind you. You're the last line of defense. But he didn't let the play come to him. He went to the play. How about that read and recognition and finishing off that one behind the line of scrimmage? They'll run for it with Pollard. And he won't have the touchdown, but he will have the first down as he's tackled at the two. Just a gain of three, but they'll certainly take it as they convert on fourth down. So he needed one, he ended up getting three. And I really like the way he ran that one, too. That's really intelligent running because oftentimes a running back could get too greedy. Try to hit the home run on a play where you just need a few yards. Well done there, making sure he got the first down and not worrying about trying to get it. And this time he is in. Yes. Tony Pollard, his first rushing touchdown of the year. And the Cowboys are an extra point away from tying this game here in the fourth. Don't forget the extra point. It's all good. And we are tied here in the fourth quarter. So here comes the kickoff now. All even here in this fourth quarter. This take it in at the goal line. And up to about the 26-yard line, just across the 25. The Bills come to the line to start their next drive. They no longer have the lead after that last touchdown. All tied up in the fourth quarter. And a chance for this offense to mount a potential game-winning drive right here. 
call it a gain of four on first, and that'll make it second down. I feel like I could see what he was thinking on that carry. Wanted to follow that big tackle through the hole. Ended up only getting four yards on the carry. I think he had designs on that one being bigger. The run got four. Now they deal with a second and six. Now Allen. Finding Knox there, complete. Seven catches for him now in this last one, a first down. That was a round run, not just with dexterity, but with intelligence. Found the hole in the zone, made sure the quarterback saw him, and was able to make the sure catch and flip the down marker back to one. So from the 36 now, first and 10. Now it's Hines. He'll lose a yard there, and it's second and 11. Pretty straightforward play there by the linebacker. He saw the run, went with straight-ahead pursuit, and dumped him behind the line of scrimmage. Looking at a second and 11 now after the loss. Getting down to the good stuff. All tied with two minutes remaining on EA Sports. mistakes and that was one of our mantras back at Tennessee coach Major say all the time the team making the fewest mistakes will win you've got to cut those down to give yourself an opportunity they'll go with Pollard here on first down and they're going to stop him right at the line of scrimmage just no cutback lane to be found whatsoever second and ten partner you've got about 20 coaches on your payroll but there's 60,000 of them in the stands I don't think any of them like that play. And the later we go, it's starting to sound like 100,000 in here. Officially nothing on that last run. They'll try again second and 10. The tight end in motion right. And they'll send the tight end in motion left. They go back to Pollard on second down. And he's going to be brought down at about the 33-yard line. 83 yards rushing for him now as he has been tremendous all day long. Now the Bills are going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. I like the call there because that was one to take time off the clock and get them closer to getting out of here with a W. In the mind of the play caller, all you want to hear is tick, tick, tick. Trying to run for it with Pollard. It's a gain of 12, and the Cowboys pick up the first. Kenneth, okay, three timeouts left, right? I think you got to use one here, don't no you? Doubt about it. I'd use one right here. And they will 
take a seven-point lead now. The kick team out there for the Cowboys as they run up to send this one away. And a short kick taking it about the 16. And able to get this out to the 25. The Bills come to the line to start their next drive. Here comes another drive from this unit, and Charles are coming off a costly mistake on the last possession, an interception in a game that is very close right now. Well, as we know, they all sting no matter what the situation, but in a one-possession game, that'll hurt a little bit more. But this is an excellent opportunity to make up for it on this drive. I just don't expect them to try and take huge gambles to make up that momentum in a hurry. Probably time for two more shots, and ideally, they'd like to get to midfield or so, so they have a chance at a Hail Mary on the final play. An incomplete pass leads to second and 10 from the 25. A run with Harris out of the shotgun. And he's got room! And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. Now they do indeed get the timeout, so all is not lost. They'll have a chance for one final heave to the end zone. Probably had 60,000 thinking pass right there, including us in the booth. Yeah, no doubt about it. That was a big call, big guts on that one. And guess what? That run, it'll pay dividends. One final shot. They'll look to throw. Rolling to his right. And this one too low. A fun, close ball game comes to an end. On that last play, Charles, they were on the wrong side of midfield. They needed something near a miracle, and they couldn't get it done. Yeah, the effort, that was good. Very good, in fact. They were just a little too far out to get a decent look at the end zone for that last opportunity. Couldn't get it done, but a nice game overall. 